welcome to bhavitaram video channel legacy for the future adding value to 1 million people by 31st december 2024 before we jump into the video let us explain the views or suggestions presented in this video is not a professional advice Use it at your own discretion, choosing to adopting the tips or seek an advi uh, expert advice. Me, my health, a journey to perfect health. Now, today we are discussing about reset and refresh. Okay. But, you know, we are, I want to give an, a real life example. We all know most of us drive the car right for example if the car fuel is gas petrol diesel whatever it is you only put the respective fuel right if it is a petrol you won't put a diesel or you won't put a gas right similarly if it is an electric car you won't be putting anything else other than just charging the battery by connecting to the electric outlet. Is that right? Yeah. Similarly, human body. What is the fuel for the human body? The fuel for the human body is fruits and vegetables and grains. But what are we doing? What are we feeding on a constant basis? You know, I read somewhere, you know, a couple of different versions, you know, human body is meant to live for 150 years some other places uh, people claim and some places people are claiming claiming it's 120 years so so much of life is built in but sometimes we are not not sometimes most of the people are living not living that long right now just like if you put a diesel in a gasoline car i'm sure you won't be able to move but you know, when you put similarly wrong fuel, the food that we intake into our human body, still it performs, but you know, it comes up with some other situations, right? It could be some health challenges. It could be some lifestyle disorders. What are all we getting into it, right? What keeps you healthy, okay? Because when you are doing all uh, the input, the fuel is not right. What happens is there is an imbalance is happening. One is microbiome. The gut microbiome is a little... Lately, there is a lot of research and studies out there, uh, which is uh, very helpful for keeping us healthy and live longer. The next one is, of course, the glucose level. The, what, the amount of sugar uh, or glucose that is being, uh, you know... Uh, <clears throat> when going into the bloodstream so that it can go to the body and all cells right the third one is of course the hormones these are the three things if it is in check it will help you to keep your body or yourself healthy happy live longer but when we are not keeping them in a proper co composition or proper optimum levels i would say what is happening you know what is happening people are obese they're gaining weight some people are you know again thyroid and diabetes these are based on the hormone imbalance right so and then hypertension hypertension you know probably this could be related to your uh, the level i mean it may be different things but one of the thing could be you know the level of i believe uh, and cholesterol so too much of cholesterol right and bad cholesterol then you know some people have a hair fall pcod now i'm listening i'm hearing a lot of this on pcod and pms premenstrual syndromes or situations and uh, some of the sufferings and all this is happening right so and you know another thing is uh, infertility we're all because when the, our body is not in a healthy condition we are altering it by the way of our lifestyle or a stress or most importantly the intake the fuel the food that we are taking okay so what are the, some other things uh, we can do this okay i am suggesting a refresh just like if you put a gasoline in a diesel car 
it won't move and it won't work so what you got to do is definitely you got to you know clean up whole engine probably drain oil drain oil up right similarly that what i'm saying is a refresh i'm suggesting and i'm attaching some of the details in the description but one caution i would like to give if someone is having any kind of health situations please don't go ahead and start doing these things on your own maybe some uh, expert advice or some you know uh, <coughs> suggestions are required or support is required or guidance is required okay but if you're healthy and just have some symptoms like you want to just you know uh what you call it could be thyroid or it could be diabetes or overweight or some some kind of inconvenience and inconsistencies in your body this will be good actually you know water fasting what do i mean by water fasting is for first two days i am saying just drink water okay maybe you can drink warm water and also if you want have a squeeze of lemon now water fasting is a very good just to cleanse your body it's like a detox but uh, when you're doing this again as i said if you have any medical conditions and you cannot fast it's okay to skip or you can do 6 hours 8 hours or one day you know that the next thing is eliminate what i am suggesting to you eliminate here pretty much like things like any added sugar you are consuming for next 30 days or 28 days two days went for the water 28 days completely eliminate any kind of uh, added sugar or artificial sugars first thing the second thing could be any kind of animal food it could be dairy poultry meat uh, fish you know all these kind of things you can eliminate okay third one could be you know all grains for sort of for short term so eliminate all the grains right any other added things bakery items things like that i would encourage you to add except uh, or what you are going to do it during this elimination period you are pretty much living off on the vegetables and fruits that's it and probably you can uh, use a little bit of uh, salt or you know of course the black pepper right and uh, of course chilies you can use the hot sauce and all that but uh, minimize the salt consumption okay and also what i would encourage is maybe if you require use a little bit of uh, olive oil or uh, clarified butter ghee you can use right but uh, otherwise you'll be uh, you know uh, eliminating all the these things for uh, uh, at least 28 days the next one is what you do is next phase is reintroduce then what you do is one by one you bring in like let's say maybe one day you eat one or two grains after the 28 days then see how you feel to a particular grain particular uh, you know particular uh, <clears throat> even sugar or whatever that flour you know different things when you're adding back right and especially i forgot to uh, mention alcohol or any soda no no 100 percent you have to eliminate okay so when you're reintroducing introduce one one two two items on a daily basis and see how you feel how your body is responding to it and make a note of it if certain things you see uh, there are different kinds of allergies you know many people we see food allergies right somebody say i have peanut allergy somebody say i've got potato allergy somebody i saw recently they got potato allergy okay so now this allergy is uh, different stages some people have little bit of inconvenience which you don't even notice some people have mild uh, you know symptoms some people have a drastic symptoms and you know, severe serious symptoms where you know probably they might have go to doctor or something like that right so most of us we may have very mild symptoms for certain things and those things we may be ignoring right when i did this program i came to know you know if i if i eat especially whole wheat bread you know immediately i used to feel like a little bit of drowsy or lazy myself and then i started eliminating and i eat any other bread oat bread or anything i don't feel that you know things like that so you got to figure out what is uh, uh, causing things because that gives you boost your energy and also i've seen many people you know 
overcome those uh, like it could be diabetes or could be thyroid or even uh, infertility also actually you know they were able to overcome and so about five to six different people nowadays a lot of people are going for this uh, treatment i believe you know which is unfortunate and expensive and also health issues it create and all that right so then the fourth one is evaluate yourself hey what is right for you if anything is causing situations uh, allergy i mean mild allergy or inconvenience and you're not feeling well you know make a note of it and probably the right thing to eliminate and of course how you can uh, uh, go through or uh, i mean eliminate the the lifestyle disorders it could be diabetes hypertension thyroid you know the hair fall or the pms and all that you know we are planning to do some more videos on it but you know evaluate yourself and start doing it then what are you going to do it when we are doing these things we are going to rebalance the microbiome then probably glucose levels then how more of course there are many other things but these are the some of the three important things i'm discussing here okay you know especially you know probably when you are uh, doing kind of this detox the fruits and vegetables for 28 days you one of the thing could be definitely most beneficial could be your uh, liver could uh, you know detox and cleanse because lot of things we are uh, you know stopping right so things like that and your gut health might be restored so okay rebalance but if you are really interested in you know going through or uh, taking care of the situations like uh, you know uh, we have to have a long term plan and some guidance is required okay so but with that we are done with this here we really appreciate watching and please like us share us subscribe if you're not done and i would and i would request you to share at least with your know, three of your friends so that you know some some more people will be benefited with it that we are done we'll look back to see you in more videos